Moving forward, we come to your main sweep control panel. You have left hand and right hand gutter boom controls here. Both are set up as mirror images of each other. Left hand gutter broom control is going to control raising and lowering your gutter brooms, turning your gutter broom motors on, and setting your gutter broom down pressure. When you're ready to sweep and you've put the machine into sweep mode, you can go ahead and lower your gutter brooms and engage the gutter broom motor. If you want to adjust the down pressure on it, you have a dial here that allows you to adjust the down pressure. You'll notice the dial is labeled from 0 to 10. I want you to think of that as 0 to 100% down pressure. Now when you have brand new brooms on the machine, you don't need a lot of down pressure. Your bristles are longer, the brooms weigh a little bit more, you need less down pressure. So you're going to set that somewhere around that 3 to 4 typically. Uh, go ahead and turn that dial, hold the lower switch down, and it's going to program that gutter broom to go to that pressure. So about 30 to 40 percent on a new broom is going to be enough down pressure to lower the broom, kick it out into a sweeping position, and keep it there. The gauge above it should mirror what the dial is doing that you set it for. Same thing on the right hand side, right hand gutter broom. Uh, down pressure controls all mirror image of what's going on on the left hand side. Additionally in the center of the, the panel you have controls over your gutter broom speed. So you have an on off switch right here. If it is off the speed is going to default to the RPMs that you had set uh, for sweeping mode but if your brooms are spinning too fast for the conditions and you want to slow the gutter broom speed down without impacting your pickup broom or your elevator speeds you can go ahead turn that switch on and then use this dial to either slow down or speed up your gutter broom rotation. Please make note of the label on either side. The left hand side says fast with an arrow pointing over uh, to the right hand side. The right hand side says slow with the arrow pointing back to the left hand side. So turning the dial to the left will slow the gutter broom speed down. Turning it to the right will speed the gutter broom up. Just below that you'll notice we have gutter broom lights. These are those floodlights for you if you're sweeping early morning hours or doing a night shift. You can go ahead and turn those lights on and it engages the LED spots that are at the gutter brooms allowing you to see what's going on uh, in your curb line and the debris that you're trying to pick up. Just below that we have two switches. The first switch I want to talk about here is the ergo switch. This is a master sweep switch. So when you're sweeping you want to engage all of your gear you can go ahead and turn that on. Program everything the way that you want it and you're sweeping. When you're ready to stop sweeping, let's say you need to reposition the machine to another uh, route uh, or you just need to turn around at the end of a road without your sweep gear running, you can go ahead, turn that ergo switch off, all of your functions will shut off, all of your sweep gear will raise and go into a stowed position until you're ready to resume sweeping. At that point, you just turn that ergo switch back on, it's one switch on, one switch off for all of your sweep functions. Now I want to make note here when you go to start your sweeper uh, and turn the machine on you have to make sure that all of these switches are in the off position. So that is your ergo switch needs to be off, both gutter broom motors need to be in the off position and then this last switch here the elevator switch needs to be in a neutral position in the middle. It is a three position switch. The elevator switch is the last switch that you would engage for sweeping. You can go ahead and just hit forward and that will engage your elevator and will drop your main broom at the same time and have the main broom start spinning. That's also going to engage the load wheel that we talked about in front of, inside of the hopper. So that one switch will engage three features, your pickup broom, your elevator, and the load wheel. As we mentioned earlier, that, that elevator system is also equipped with the ability to run it in reverse. So if you do get anything that's uh, jammed in that elevator system, you can always go ahead and hit reverse and it can kick that material out that may become jammed in the elevator system. Same thing with cleaning it at the end of the day. You have the ability to go ahead and turn that elevator on in reverse and as you flush out the elevator system it allows that material to drop to the ground as opposed to going up and into your hopper or if the hopper is raised uh, getting sprayed all over 
your engine compartment. Moving on, the controls uh, closest to the front of the machine here uh, are auxiliary switches that we have for different options or features that you may have. This machine is equipped with the beacon light on top of the cab and it also has a light for rear flashers at the rear of the machine. I'll point out too, we also have an auxiliary hopper raise switch. So this is a nice feature that this machine is equipped with. If uh, you ever have an issue where you lose engine power and need to work on the uh, engine, you have the ability to go ahead and raise the hopper without having the, to start the engine. It's electric over hydraulic uh, lift system on it, so it's for emergency uh, uses only just to work on that engine, like I said, if you lose engine power. So you shouldn't really be using that to raise or lower your hopper on a, on a regular basis, only as needed when, when you potentially lose engine power.